Hi, I'm Connie Waddell. Um, I'm an AmeriCorps member working for the Greenlee County Extension Office here at the Duncan Middle School Garden, which is, I'm maintaining it for the summer so that it's all geared up and ready to go when the kids come back this fall. Well, summer, end of summer, middle of August. So in this bed right here, we've got 10 raised beds, but in these, this bed here and the one over here, what we had is we had a, um, a cover crop planted in them all winter long. And so now it's time to chop and drop the cover crop. Chop and drop is a way of you grow the, the greenery that you're gonna use to mulch the soil when you go to plant this summer. So you can do it two ways. You could get out your clippers, which is how I did those two beds over there. I just did those by hand because they were peas. They were easy to, there was only, you know, a couple dozen plants. It was just as easy to, to use my loppers to, to uh, cut them. But over here in the cover crop, it's thick, which was exactly what we wanted. This is a 10 seed cover crop here. You can see we've got clover, we've got wheat, we've got field peas, there's vetch in here, all kinds of different things. So we've got really great root growth growing in here. So when I cut the tops down, all of that's going to start to decompose and really improve my soil the texture of the soil and lots of vitamins and minerals and stuff that's all been chewed up in there. And then when I chop this down, I'm just going to lay it on top of the soil. That means I'll be mulched for the summer and I'll just plant through my mulch because we're going to have butternut squash and watermelon are going to be growing in here. So it should be perfect. So you can do this the hard way. Like I said, you just come in, cut it off at ground level. If you want, you don't have to, but if you want, you can cut things into smaller pieces and just throw them back down on the ground, right? But you can see this is pretty thick. This might take a while. If I had nothing else to do, this might be kind of fun, but that's probably not what I'm going to do. So I have my battery operated weed whacker here and we're going to take this down. Anything that flies out, I'm going to rake back up and put it back in the bed so that it decomposes in place and we'll be ready to go. So watch out Savannah. Okay, now some of this stuff is going to be too heavy for my poor little battery weed whacker to handle. So for instance, this guy right here. And so we'll just cut him off and drop him down. Now if there was gnarly weeds in here, for instance, if there was bindweed in here, you wouldn't do this, right? But for your average weeds, the things that are just annuals that aren't really all that invasive, you can just leave them in, you can do the same thing with them. Like I said, you don't really have to break them down like this. It does make them lay a little nicer. When I've done this at my home garden the first year, I was amazed at how well this worked. So I decided to try this on the school garden too. Old school types, like my mom, the idea of leaving all this debris on top of the soil would make them crazy. They like the burned earth, they like the scorched earth kind of a, a garden where it's all tilled under and perfect and it looks lovely like you're in Iowa. But we're not in Iowa. We need to protect the soil from the sun. And so this works really good here. There we go. So this is going to take a while. Now here's what it looks like if you want to take a shot over here. This is what it looks like when you're done. This is a bed that I did yesterday. This one and this one behind me. And these I just did by hand. And it was pea plants. So I just took out my trellises and cut them down and laid them down flat. You can see, so right now, if you go under here, it's nice and damp. 
and cool because this is providing the shade. It also breaks up the wind a little so you don't have quite so much drying from the wind. So it'll help. And then when I plant through this, the tomatoes and things are gonna grow up through this and uh, it'll break down over time and it'll be mulch. So that's it.